here. Uh, that's the cartoon on the uh, Star newspaper. How journalists covered the NASA presser. This, of course, again made headlines yesterday uh, with um, instances of journalists being assaulted um, at some of these pressers because of. Um, over how, rather, um, the various media houses covered the uh, repeat presidential election. A big debate, especially considering today is Wednesday, we'll be having a newsroom discussion. But what did you make um, of this situation? Uh, well, I think uh, that was a very, uh, um, very bad thing to do. Having uh, served at the Media Council of Kenya uh, and having served as a complaint Commissioner, we all are aware of Article 34, Article 33, that provides for the freedom of the media, for the journalists to be given an enabling environment to practice their trade. An attack on a journalist is an affront to the media freedoms okay. in this country. Okay. We all know that there is only so much that a journalist can do. Uh, he will be able to gather information, gather news, and take it forward to the media outlet. Mm. Whatever the editor or the person in charge decides to air or decide to do should not necessarily be put on the journalist. So I think that was an act of hooliganism. It ought to be condemned. We all need to have tolerance for opposing views, and we all need to respect our journalists. It was very bad, and I think uh, they do have a right to, to file a complaint. If those people have been identified, they do have a right to file a complaint so that it can be dealt with in, in due legal process. Yes, and what I'd really like to hear from the NASA leadership is what they have to say about it, because at the end of the day, even when they're arranging for press conferences and this information, it's the media they task oh, yes. with the job of getting that information out. Oh, yes. so that's a discussion that we're going to have in the newsroom as we carry on. All so right.